clamoring for a flight out of Kabul. Thousands flocking to the city's airport again Monday, more than a week after the Taliban captured Afghanistan's capital. Senior Canadian officials now confirming the Canadian military special forces are operating outside the airport to help with evacuations. No specific details shared about that mission for security reasons, according to those officials. And as of Monday morning, the latest Canadian evacuation flight out of Kabul was carrying 436 Canadian citizens and Afghan nationals destined for Canada, up significantly from the roughly 120 airlifted a day earlier. The Taliban seize power in Afghanistan as the U.S. and its allies withdraw troops after a 20-year war launched after 9-11. U.S.-led forces aim to complete their pullout from Afghanistan by August 31st, just over a week away. But with thousands still waiting to get out, pressure is building to extend the deadline. At an emergency G7 virtual meeting on Afghanistan set for Tuesday, the British Prime Minister is expected to urge the U.S. President to keep American troops at the Kabul airport beyond the end of the month. My focus right now is on getting as many uh, Afghans out to safety as possible. Justin Trudeau confirming he will be taking part in the G7 talks and that Canada will support G7 sanctions against the Taliban. The Taliban is a terrorist entity. Out of the U.S., the Pentagon saying Monday about 16,000 people have been evacuated from Kabul within the last 24 hours. The Taliban warning there will be consequences if the U.S. and its allies extend the August 31st deadline, telling Sky News the date is a red line. Aware uh, of, of, uh, of the stated desire to, by the Taliban to have this mission completed by the 31st of August, I would tell you that we too are still planning on completing it by the 31st of August. That is the mission that would have been signed by the Commander-in-Chief assigned to us, and that's what we're trying to execute at. And with the Paralympics just about to begin in Japan, the Games president says the opening ceremony will include Afghanistan's flag as a show of solidarity. Melissa Duggan, City News.